So okay guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install PS2 games on an exploited PS4. Now with that said, actually installing PS2 games onto our PS4 is super simple. You can do it within a few clicks, but before we get started, I do want to say this. The PS4 itself actually has no PS2 hardware. What this means is every ISO that we convert over into a package file format actually gets bundled with its own PS2 emulator. Now this emulator is exactly what it is. It's an emulator. So there are going to be some games that are hit and miss. And I'll try to find a compatibility chart and link it down below in the description if you guys wish to check it out. But yeah, from personal use, this program works really great and every game I converted so far and put onto my PS4 has ran flawlessly. So good in fact, I couldn't even tell my PS4 and my PS2 apart when running games. But yeah, to actually get this all set up and, well, ready to use, all you gotta do is download the PS2 Classic Zip, which I'll have in the description down below. But before I get the inevitable comment, there are other programs out there that do the same thing. I just really like this one just because it's super simple to use and you can set up your artwork with just a few simple clicks. Now once it's actually done and extracted, just navigate into the folder and double click on the setup. And this may take 5 to 10 minutes, but after it's done doing that, you should get these two files, a folder and a shortcut. Now you can click on the shortcut to open up the program, but what I like to do is just navigate into the actual application folder itself and look to see if I have the executable. If I have the executable, then I know the setup installed everything correctly. So what I'm going to do is just double click it and launch this by the actual executable itself. But as you can see, I already had a window opened and ready to go. So I'm just going to close out of that one and back out in my folder list. And yeah, here we go. To actually put our ISO into the program, all you got to do here is click on the three dots, which should open up the file browser. Now it took me a minute, but I found my game. I'm just going to double click that, open it up, and it goes into the program itself. Now from here, this program likes to give it the same title ID. I don't think the PS4 will like that, so what I like to do is I like to change the first four letters of the title ID to match the first few letters of the game that I'm going to install. In this case, we're going to be installing Yu-Gi-Oh! So what I'm going to do is call this Y-U-G-I on caps and from there you can change the number, but you need the same amount of numbers here as well as a number in the you know, you just got to keep this kind of the same format. Other than that, you give it a title. Yu Gi. Sorry, I'm kind of not looking. Yu Gi Oh! GX PS2. Now, from here, you can actually hit Create PS2 Classic and you would be good to go. You can install this package file right away. The only thing you'll notice is you have no thumbnail art on the PS4 home uh, menu and you'll actually have no image load up when you go to click on your game. So to add those in, it's super simple, and it took me a minute or two to figure it out in this program, but all you gotta do is go over onto this window, right click, and you can hit change background or change icon. When you click on these, it should open up another file browser window and you can navigate to your artwork. Now in my case, I'm gonna be using this max uh, res default image as my background. This image is uh, 1280 by 720, I'd like to say. Yeah, it's this size. I believe you can go even higher than that. However, I haven't tested it personally, and I don't really know what the max image size is for this program, so you'll have to experiment with that. However, from personal use, I found this size to be pretty serviceable, and I also found the size of this thumbnail image at 630 by 630 to be pretty decent as well. So what I'm going to do is just double click on this image or just click open. That will set my background image and now I'm just going to repeat that process and set my thumbnail image. Now from here we're pretty much good to go. We hit create PS2 classics image, click on our location or where it is we want this image to be saved to. I'm just going to save mine to the desktop and hit OK. Now from here this program can take a while so sit back, relax while it spits out your package file and occasionally move the window around to check because I've noticed sometimes this program will look like it's still running even though it's done and completed your ISO image it will just pop up the window behind the other window so to say. So that's one thing to look out for. If it looks like your game's taking too long just move the window and see if there's a window behind there that says your image has been converted. 
But yeah, other than that, installing this is super simple. It's just a package file. You could do it your normal way through the debug menu, package installer, and just install the package that way like you would any other game or homebrew file. Now if the game's too big, you may have to transfer it over FTP, so keep that in mind. Now as you guys can see on my PS4, I'm gonna load up the game, and it's working pretty good. It even has the PS2 intro animation logo up here, and the game itself even acts like it has a memory card installed while saving your saves to the actual PS4 save um, location. But yeah, with that said, that's basically it for this video. This program's super simple to use, and I hope it was able to help some of you guys out. But before I go, I just want to say this, I'm running the current 6.72 well exploit, however this program should work on lower firmware PS4s as well. Anyway guys, that's basically it, I'm gonna leave today's video off here, DTPK signing off, peace. In the web browser, we're sent to Al Azef's um, payload executor instead. Now this is one of the- boom, done. If you want to make some gun accessories for the controllers, there are tons of-